Greetings and welcome to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to add unlimited websites to Bluehost. I currently have the Plus plan with Bluehost, which gives me unlimited websites and unlimited storage. And let's go back to my Bluehost portal here. And they don't really provide you with an easy way to add new websites and basically they're trying to get you to buy another domain through them so they can make some more money and let me show you how that works if you go to your uh, my sites here and click on add site and then you get to choose uh, which kind of uh, website design or building you want let's go to uh, wordpress let me just fill this out real quick and now click next and here the next step is choose a domain and if you click here when I sign up with the Bluehost unlimited plan they gave me a free domain right here and I chose my theme demos.com and now to add a new site they don't give you an option to add a new domain directly from adding the, a new site you can choose to add to a directory folder but other than that you can't add a new website from here so they make this step a little bit complicated let's click cancel so what they're trying to do is get you to buy a new domain either transfer a domain to Bluehost or purchase a domain and the prices aren't cheap compared with others like Namecheap and I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out some top domain deals you can get domains from a dollar anyways I've already bought a domain from Namecheap right here demo.capital and to add in a new domain or a new website to your Bluehost just change your name server right here to ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com and then make sure you select this right here to save let's go back to the Bluehost control panel here and to add this domain without messing around with the transfer domain or purchase domain all you have to do is go to assign right here under the domains there is a sub menu item assign click on that now on this page you will need to enter in your domain right here so my domain let's copy that and paste it here and there is a verifying domain and you can see here the ownership is verified because I've set the name servers that's how they know and now let's go down here and now you can choose either add-on or parked domain and to make a website you need to use the add-on domain and down here is now please specify a directory for your new add-on domain and by default it creates a new directory already and the subdomain is automatically created it is required by a cpanel and now all you have to do is click on assign this domain okay that's done now you can actually choose to go back to here to my sites and you can create a new site this way go to add site let's go through this step again and click next and you can see here in the domain drop down my new add-on domain is right here and now when I install WordPress it will go to my new add-on domain and if you want to upload to your new add-on domain website you can do that by going to advanced here and this will load up the cPanel and go to files section here click on file manager and you can even FTP to uh, your server if you want, if you know how to do that. Otherwise, this is an easy option by using the file manager from cPanel. So once you load up the file manager, you can click on public HTML. And you can see here the new add-on domain, my new folder. It's called demo. And it will show just a bunch of default files for now. But if you want, you can upload directly to here by clicking on upload and you can upload files or you can create a new file for instance let me just create a new example folder or file index and you can edit directly from here just to show you uh, how the add-on domain will look and I'm inside of the code editor and I'll just type this in real quick hello world save changes and now if I go to my domain or my website okay just like that my new website add-on domain hello world just like that all right i'm back here in the bluehost portal under my domains you can now see that i have an add-on domain and you can assign unlimited add-on domains 
to your Bluehost account. This is not the same as transferring the domain to your Bluehost or purchasing a domain. This is an add-on domain. It is totally different. My domain is still registered at Namecheap or whatever registration company you're using like GoDaddy. So you still need to renew your domains at Namecheap or GoDaddy, whatever you're using. Okay, and that's how easy it is to set up unlimited add-on domains to your Bluehost and host unlimited websites to your Bluehost unlimited plans. I hope this helps. Let me know if you guys have any questions and comments. Please subscribe to How to Webmaster for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on Bluehost and cPanel. And until next time, happy hosting.